Hey. What up, dog? What up with you? Have you been practicing? I appreciate that. So... So, I took a lot of really good pictures this week. At least I think they're really good. Do you want to see them? Sure. Sure. I uploaded... A lot of them on Facebook. I tried to friend you, but then I discovered you're not on Facebook. Are you a libertarian or something? No. Well, then you should get on Facebook. Our society is becoming increasingly bifurcated. Do you know what that means? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Well, um, it was a vocab word this week, and I kind of loved it. I feel I have a real affinity for the concept of bifurcation. Our lives are now like half in real time and half in virtual time. Did you like the pictures? Which bar was that? Does it matter? Was it the one that Josh and Ray found? Yeah. You know what your problem is? You think all art has to have context. That's so bourgeois. What is this Josh and Ray's bar? Yes. Did you take the pictures last night? Yes. Did you go to school today? No. I'll go to school tomorrow. Jesus, Ansel Adams didn't finish high school. Neither did Richard Avedon. And you know where I got that information? Online. Did I like swear to you I wouldn't see them again? No. No, so stop looking at me like I've disappointed you or something. I'm not your fucking kid. You know, Jesse, we've been talking for a while now about why it isn't such a good idea for you to continue to see Josh and Rafe uh, anymore. You've you been know. talking. No, not true, Jesse. A few weeks ago, you said to me that you were uncomfortable there because they think you're a freshman at NYU and because they were a couple and because you were feeling used. Oh, I never said used. I think you did. No. I said fucked. I said I was feeling fucked while I was being fucked. And I know exactly what I said, because I was trying to make you uncomfortable. You were trying to shock me, yeah? Whatever. Or throw me off balance. Like when you flashed the camera in my face at the door. It's your way of distracting me, yeah? Sending up flares, obscuring who you are. We've talked about this. You are a minor. Please, dude, I'm going to be 17 in like a month. What are you going to do, call Child Protective Services? They'll hang up on you. I remember something that you said last month. You said that you were worried that you had a promiscuity problem. Do you remember that? At the time, you seemed pretty upset about it. We're perfectly safe, okay? We use condoms every time. Have you been having trouble sleeping? Uh, no. Have you? Have you been taking, taking your Adderall? <laughs> you mean have I been selling my Adderall? No, that's not what I said. Yeah, but that's what you actually want to know, isn't it? You seem pretty anxious today. Just trying to figure out why. Well, I don't have to sell that shit anymore. My ship's about to come in. And what, what do you mean? Do you want to see something awesome? It's this new app I got, it's called Hoser. You just open it and it finds out where you are. It tells you exactly where the closest hookup is. Over 1,500 guys join it every day. 
Marissa sent me a bitchy text at like 5 a.m. this morning. After you hadn't come home? Uh, yeah. Well, you can imagine that your mother might be upset. Can I read it to you? Why don't you just tell me what it says? I sent her one first, telling her that I was fine. And she wrote back, <laughs> here it is. She's just like, good. Don't you think she was relieved to hear from me? Oh, God, please, I gave her the night off. Do you think... Do you think your mother finds you... a burden? Oh, I hate talking about my fucking parents! My father... hired this new guy... Mario, <laughs> really hot, Italian, of course. He's being groomed to take over the business, I can tell. Does that feel to you like a rejection? Uh, no. Why? Well, isn't the business called D'Amato and Sons? Don't take it literally. It's a metaphor. Meaning? Like, D'Amato and people he wishes were his sons. So it does feel personal. Oh, please. You think I want to be a fucking electrician? I'm gonna be a doctor without borders like my real father. Or a crack whore. Like my real mother. When did... Mario start to work for your father? A few days ago. I'm just wondering if your behavior this week has anything to do with that. My behavior? You, you were demonstrating some pretty troubling behavior. Sleeping around, skipping school, selling drugs. But I felt in the last few sessions you'd been gaining some control over that behavior. But in the past week... Adderall is not a drug. What would you call it? It's like a fucking vitamin. I was providing a necessary service for the youth of this city, okay? So get off my fucking back. And this sucks. What does? I just feel like such a fuck up today. Have you ever noticed that when you talk about your birth parents, your father is always somebody different, yet your mother remains the same? No. Like sometimes he's a novelist. Uh, a race car driver. Today he's a he's a doctor. Yet your mother always remains the same, a degenerate crack whore. So, I'm just curious what you what you make of that. Must be some sort of misogynist. Or maybe I think all women are useless because I'm gay. Here. Hello, is this Jesse D'Amato? If this is, if this is Jesse D'Amato that was born in Kings County Hospital December 14th, 1993, well then, well, my name is Karen Scott and my number is 914-555-0178. I... I think I'm your birth mother. I hope you call me back. Wow. Yeah. When, when did you get that? Uh, yesterday I picked it up after school. And have you, have you returned the call? No. Feel when you heard that message? I don't know, Doc. Confused, betrayed, like suddenly the weight of the entire world was bearing down on my slender shoulders.
what did I feel? Um, nothing. This woman is a fucking stranger. How did she even get my number? It's a good question. I'm also not sure that what she did was technically legal. You know, I should call the phone company. Um, hello, AT&T. I would like to report a complaint. You gave my fucking cell phone number to the fucking crack whore who gave birth to me, and now she, she won't stop fucking calling me, so what the fuck am I supposed to do? It's a Westchester number. I looked it up. 914. She lives in Westchester. You know what that means? What? The bitch is rich. <laughs> Not a crack whore, then. <laughs> 